All right. Hey, everybody. It is Coach Keith and Coach Colin here back with another Coach's Corner. We're super excited. We are approved to get inside the building. We're going to put some videos out later. But today we're going to talk about eating on the go. We know uh, a lot of your sports are starting to ramp up. Um, there's some tournaments that are coming back and things are going on. So we know uh, this is a huge hurdle and we're going to talk about a few things you guys should think about when you're uh, out there eating on the go. Keith, why don't you get us started? What's up, guys? Uh, we're excited to see everybody again. I, I can't wait to get back in there and uh, start doing our thing. But first, we're going to talk about eating on the go. Uh, we're going to start with plan and prepare. And we're starting with that because there's a couple of subcategories that go with it. Uh, first, planning goes a long way. So I know a lot of you guys are waking up very, very early in the morning sometimes to go to practices and then you, you skip breakfast or something like that. Uh, we, me and Colin will always tell you you have to eat breakfast. Um, Got it. Thinking ahead, right? <laughs> thinking ahead uh, and planning ahead just a little something um, the night before uh, will we'll go a long way and will increase your performance uh, exponentially. It doesn't have to be much. Um, I, some of the kids I train in the mornings, they make fun of me because I eat the same thing every single day for breakfast. I have a cup of yogurt, a huge scoop of peanut butter, and a banana every single morning. But when I wake up in the morning, I know it's there. It's quick. It's easy. I know the calories, the protein, and everything. All right, stuff like that goes a very, very long way, and you can prepare stuff in a lunchbox uh, to take with you on the go. Um, so we're going to work down the list here. So planning, preparing. When you guys are out, if you guys are out early, or if you guys are just out all day, um, you know a lot of you stop at fast food places uh, like McDonald's or Wendy's or um, Chick Fil A or whatever you guys like to do. Um, but believe it or not, there are healthier options at these places. And sometimes what you got to do is you got to look ahead. Uh, you can look at the menu. Every restaurant has a menu online. So before you guys even go in, while you guys are in the car, you could take a little look at that menu and start going through it. You don't have to get a cheeseburger and French fries uh, and a soda. Uh, these places do have uh, chicken breast sandwiches. They have a uh, salad that you could put chicken breast on. And they have water. They don't just have Coca-Cola, okay? They do have water uh, for you guys to drink. Um, so yeah, so after you look at the menu, just try to find those real foods, not the not those processed burgers, um, and not the not the fried chicken, not the fried French fries, and all that kind of stuff. Find the real food. Those salads are real. That is real lettuce. Those are real tomatoes inside of there, even if it comes from uh, McDonald's. Uh, even inside of a vending machine, if you guys are at a sportsplex, I know it's, um, they have snack bars, but they also have vending machines. Um, there's you have an option of Cheetos, or you can buy some uh, some nuts and dried fruit. The nuts and dried fruit are real food. Uh, the Cheetos, I don't know what a Cheeto actually is. I don't know if Coach Colin knows what a Cheeto I actually is. Still, uh, the research still out there. Probably some corn right. product. Right. So, um, you know, or even a bag of pretzels or something like that is better than the, the Cheetos or the Lay's salt and vinegar uh, chips or whatever else is in those machines, chocolate bars, stuff like that. Absolutely. <laughs> what you got, Colin? <laughs> so, uh, right. So, when you know, and this comes back to mental toughness. Sorry. A lot of times we think mental toughness is like grinding through these really, really challenging workouts, but mental toughness is doing the things that are a little more challenging to do, planning and being uh, re re uh, relentlessly disciplined, right? We want to be ruthlessly disciplined as well. Like we don't let what this may look like from uh, your friend's point of view, your teammate's point of view, bringing your own food because you're preparing where they're kind of just going by. So you've got to plan, the, plan this out. You've got to do the little things. And that's mental toughness, showing up and going to practice, showing up to training, showing up and prepping all your food the night before for the next day those are all elements and ways you can strengthen your mental toughness and the great thing is on the back end you'll you will see performance increases and you won't feel sluggish like your teammate who didn't eat anything or who decided to to try to suck down some sunny d or something right before practice and and is losing out on the energy um this is really important stuff and and when you're on the go you've got to think about making good decisions now right now it's not a big heavy tournament season because everything's shut down but next summer this is the same thing. You've got a whole year to work on these things of going multiple games, traveling all over uh, the Northeast, trying to get to different events in a single day. Um, you've got to understand that this is really important aspects and trying to eat real food, 
um, whenever possible. So uh, those are some few tips we got for you guys. If you guys need more help with this, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're, we're always here to, to help you coaches get better, uh, you athletes get better, uh, eat better, train better, and most importantly, perform better. So uh, we look forward to seeing our summer program rolls out next week. Uh, we've already got a bunch of slots that are sold out. So get out there and sign up uh, and let us know if you need anything. Have an awesome day.